Hello folks, this is G from Tone Empire. Really, really excited to bring to you some spectacular news. So now today I'm introducing a new mode in our neural plugins and this is called the Ultra X mode. As the name suggests, <laughs> this is basically a new mode which is equivalent to about eight times oversampling regular algorithm plugins and then improving aliasing tremendously, especially for higher frequencies and foldbacks that occur. Now, how does this work really? Well, it's not really like oversampling that is used in you know regular algorithm plugins. Since we have models, these are trained at very high sampling rates. And then of course, we apply a special filtering and that is resulting in greater models. I'm going to show you with some tests how much improvement this brings and what kind of CPU and all of that. But again, like I said, this is advised to be used where you really can hear the difference, I would say that. But then again, the choice is yours. You have that button, whether you want to use it or not, that's totally up to you. It's totally your choice. But what I'm trying to say here is that I listen to you guys. We listen to feedback. We listen to criticisms. I always respond and I always try to improve. So here's an example of us listening to you and bring something that you guys dearly, dearly wanted. I'm really excited to hear what you guys think once you try this mode and see the improvement in results. All right. So here we are uh, to make this test. We've basically got three things. One is a test tone sign oscillator. Then after that in chain, we've got our APX351 with the ultra mode. And then we have a frequency analyzer. You can use any analyzer or tone generator of your choice, but this is the basic easy test to show you what's going on. So in this analyzer, uh, there is a range from 10 hertz to 22K, which is even above 20K, which is the you know end of our hearing. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're gonna listen to and see basically what occurs. So in this case, I'm switching off the sign tone because it might be disturbing to hear obviously continuously. So we'll just visually see first what's going on. So in this case, I've got about a 300 hertz sine tone being generated as a fundamental frequency going through the APX351 in a normal 44.1K sampling setup. So when you switch this off, you can see the fundamental frequency at about 300 hertz. And then when you switch this on, you see some additional generated harmonics, which is intended. This is natural and needed. So as we drive uh, this preamp really hard, it's a tube preamp, which we hard drive. These are some natural harmonics which should occur. Now let's see what happens as we go uh, and change the fundamental frequency of the sine wave, which is 300 hertz, and start pushing it towards higher frequencies. Uh, you will start seeing some fold back, a little bit of aliasing fold back that blocker. So till now it's all right. And now as we go higher and higher, we got about 6k. You see some fold back, which has started happening at 2k and 5k. And here's the fundamental frequency. So now again, when we use the ultra mode, you will see what happens. So when we press the ultra mode, there you go. The aliasing which is folding back uh, below uh, the 6600 hertz mark has disappeared. Again, I'll switch the ultra off. You can see it appear again. A little bit of aliasing happening here. Some other stuff happening here. Here it's absolutely clean. In fact, uh, the one uh, peak that you see here above 22K, that is not relevant because that's above audible range. Anyway, so that's how much it cleans up. So again, if you drive it further and further and further, you will see that the aliasing still stays clean. If I switch off the ultra mode at super pushed, you know, uh, range, you will see, you know, a little bit of aliasing occur at 44.1. Again, like I said, uh, in certain material, you might not be pushing your material so much. So you might not really need to use the ultra X mode because it will take more CPU, you know? So that's the whole system. Again, we will see the ultra mode on. Boom, there you go, a clean response. So that's what this does. A lot of you wanted that. We've got it. Now let's try to hear some of the tones and what really happens. Just to let you know beforehand, this is not what happens in a real world situation. You're not mixing with sign tones. But yes, your music has frequency components in higher frequency areas, which occur as transients, you know, at certain points. So some people can hear it, uh, you know, when it's uh, pushed to the extreme. So that's what the ultra mode is for. Let's try to hear on a sine wave, actually, uh, what aliasing might sound like. So let's switch it on. Okay, so here a particular sound, let's switch off the process and hear it, right? And as I push it forward, okay, at 17.5 or something, I can't really hear it, 19, okay? Let's see what the processor does, okay? See, when this is on, it's, you're still hearing, that is the aliasing tone you're hearing. And then let's see what happens in Ultra X mode. It's gone. <laughs> so it's cleaned up the aliasing. With aliasing in extreme situations, extreme high frequencies, without it. So yeah, this works really, really well. Uh, you can do this test yourself as well at home. You can 
take a sine oscillator and then you know use a frequency analyzer and check it out for yourself so currently we're releasing three updates one is going to be for the apx351 valve cult and the tf72 so these newer preamps that we did it's now going to have the ultra x mode of course going forward all of our neural plugins will have this mode so i hope you enjoyed listening to these examples and many of you of course can hear a lot of difference that occurs especially when you're really pushing plugins and you know really driving them hard and especially in the higher frequency areas please do like and subscribe because that really encourages me to make more videos listen more to you communicate with you and bring to you products and plugins that you want to see that's what we do at tone empire thank you again for your time i'll see you in another video